Hello and welcome to this special show on the role of women in nation building. A woman is an architect of society. She establishes the institution of family life, builds the home and contributes to society. Her strength in totality contributes in the making of an ideal family, an ideal society and an ideal state. Women's participation in nation building is an important ingredient in achieving equitable, peaceful and more prosperous society and that's what we will be discussing today on this show. We have with us a very special panel of three ladies who's joining us here. I'm going to start with introducing somebody who's on my left, uh, Aditi Maheshwari who's the director at Bani Prakasham. On her left we have with us Dr. Manisha Priyam who's a senior academician and on her left we have Surbhi Deora who's the founder of careerguide.com. Thank you you all for joining us here on this special discussion and before uh, you know uh, we talk about uh, specifics now women's issues have been discussed quite a bit how how much do you think have things really changed I'm going to start with you Dr. Manisha and uh, you know today we're sitting here having this discussion but there are still women out there and I'm not just talking about India but other parts of the world as well who have no rights how far have things really changed for women out there uh, for women here in India is what I would like to talk to you about and I uh, do think there's lots to be done but I do think that in 1991 for example large parts of this country had illiteracy rates and especially for women that put us worse than sub-Saharan Africa mm. uh, I would say and those states were called B Maru mm. sickness illness mm. disease and largely why on, ca on, on account of women, especially those who belong to scheduled castes and scheduled tribe categories outside the net of any form of institutional association. Now I do think that lots needs to be done, there's lots of adverse things against the woman but I do think that India's uh, contested policy road and the contested process of educational reform has still yielded in favor of women and I would say 2001 to 2011 onwards even the worst amongst them the state of Bihar and its girl child especially belonging to mm. disadvantaged social caste uh, population has been able to come there she is the girl on the cycle the last frontier uh, photograph that you see mm -hmm. so there is that note of optimism however this last front line of women from disadvantaged backgrounds mm -hmm. is going to come knocking at the doorsteps of our higher education institutions so I think challenges lie ahead in the future but there's women coming knocking there's women coming knocking and be ready to meet those challenges as well. Aditi, uh, you know, you're a publisher. Looking at the kind of stereotyping there is about women, even in this day and age, how do you really deal with that? Because when you must be getting these books and how do you really change that stereotyping that we're seeing when it's being published, when people are out there reading it by the millions? I think books about women, by women, mm. for women, on women mm. have existed for time immemorial. Mm. We are in a society that has witnessed authors like Andal, Akka Mahadevi, who were writing from 11th, 12th, 13th century about women empowerment. So ours has been a very progressive society, if I may use the word mm. progressive without the quote unquote. Mm. So, um, but if we see the um, so-called chiclet literature today, mm. uh, which is talking about a certain class of women in the urban cosmopolitan towns. Um, I think these narratives have existed and they are responding to the society. So once a manuscript comes to us, for example, as a publisher, we have to decide A, whether it is stereotyping women too much or is it not stereotyping you know, women too much. The argument for that goes, are they responding to society or is society responding to these, this kind of literature that is out there? Uh, would you like to respond, Dr. Manisha? I think it's both ways and the one thing that I find is uh, you know some unfortunate events have uh, rocked the national capital we saw the Nirbhaya movement for example mm. and when I was uh, looking at the young ones there as I call it in the city square mm. uh, protesting for their rights I remember my own times in 1983 to 85 or 85 to 88 when I was at the Lady Sri Ram College and there had been the Sati Rup Kaur uh, unfortunate incident and we were at that point of time allowed out of the hostel only on three days of the week and only in the evenings but there did happen to be a protest march that was coming here where you're located to Mandi House mm. and I do remember that we had gone with a petition to the principal saying now let us out now and we had said on the petition that we want to go for this uh, protest march and it's about women 
and I still remember that there was moment of pause and I told the principal that I can feel that this woman was being burnt while she was alive and we were allowed out institutionally. So I do think that women out in the city square at an unfortunate moment in the city's history and life were really taking that history far forward mm. to the times that we stood there. So I do think it's not really a question of is this remaking that or is that. I would think there is a far more assertive woman right behind that text that Aditi is publishing. Mm. And I would say just the way the city square and the march of women reversed or reverted how I stood at the sidelines of a march, I think the text will be reverted if it doesn't take on the life situations of women. Mm. So I think publish that page, but there's a woman right behind there with her struggles. If you don't do it well, she's going to reverse this. You're yeah, very interesting there. So mm. the Prime Minister also said we need to move beyond women's development and move towards women-led development. I'm going to talk to you a little more in detail about that. But first, let me involve Surbhi in this discussion. Also, Surbhi, uh, you know, you're the founder of careerguide.com. I'm sure uh, this is, you know, we're talking about being an entrepreneur. How important is it for women to take on this role? And what are you giving back to society when you're becoming an entrepreneur? at this age. Absolutely. You know, first of all, you know, my co-panelists talked use the word progressive, things are changing. Well, I guess things definitely changing from 20, 30 years down the line. But I guess a couple of days back we read this band of mobile phone on girls, you know, they cannot use in a couple of states. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Somebody is giving a statement like Chow Min Khane se kuch hota hai. And we talking about the word progressive, that's the question. We talking about so your question coming on to how important you know is to be entrepreneur, how difficult it is to be an entrepreneur. So think about it. Today families are willing to save fifty lakhs for marriage of a girl. Is it possible? Can you even imagine the same family giving 50 lakhs to their daughter to run a business? Mm. We all know the answer, mm. you know, what it is. So where's the question of but about? that's the mindset we need to change. That's the mindset we need to change. So when I'm talking about, you know, when parents come, so interestingly, which happened in the last five decades is that, yes, we want our girls to be educated. But the question is that do we want our girls really to take part in economy, you know? To, to be, be really empowered, basically. Do we want them to be empowered along with being educated? Exactly. That's the big exactly. question. Exactly. Exactly. You know, so I get parents coming to, me, uh, to us talking about, hey, we are putting our girls into good college, but can you suggest a comfortable careers which she need not, she might take, What's might really not What's the definition take. of a comfortable career? Would any of you want to respond to that? So <laughs> all careers are... For women, extremely challenging and I used to be teaching mm -hmm. and I was greeted saying, you've really got that profession which is so good for a woman. <laughs> so we really took those careers that were left Look by the others. women are today. No, no, we, we took those left by the women and I can bet to you today that for the last eight years that I have been on television, most men to the right or left of me don't want to come back to another show with me. So <laughs> give us the left, give, give us the left, give us the left out, give us the crumbs. Mm. We are happy. You define careers your way. I would suggest to her, when parents are asking, suggest them some careers. Let the woman get even that. Mm. And you see what changes after that. Okay. Uh, would you like to respond to that? I think uh, no career in, in today's global post-global economy uh, can give you a comfort sofa or a comfort couch. Uh, but um, having said that, I still uh, have an understanding that there are careers like teaching, mm -hmm. like, you know, um, related jobs where parents of a certain strata of our society feel that if their daughters are into it, they will be coming back home at five and will be cooking for the family. Yeah. So that's not what the kind of uh, uh, future we are looking out for mm -hmm. in our country anymore. Uh, women are taking the top jobs. They are, and of course, glass ceiling has been there always, but we are trying to hard to break it and we are trying to reclaim our sky. Of course, and how important is it for the woman to be empowered when we're talking about a whole nation and taking that nation forward, when we're talking about the growth of a nation, taking it to new heights, how important is it for the women of that nation to be empowered? You know, it's extremely critical for women to be empowered. It's extremely critical to accept what is on offer, but criticize what they do, be critical with themselves in a daily basis. When she was telling us about the fact that they'll put out so much for a wedding but not so much for this. The girl who's going through this needs to say, I don't want to do this. So it's the woman who's got to remember that her life is going to be a lot of fun, mm. but doing the contest on a daily basis should be an art, a science, a skill, a metaphor, like the very breath that goes in. 
And for women, I would say that any career is not a career which is easy. There are skills. I find myself on two jobs. I'm, mm. I'm at duty at home. I'm at duty at work. I have worked now for over 20 years. I've traveled many continents. Every time I travel abroad, it's the fact of, oh, you're going. How many things in the household? And I have to come and keep pretending. It's like the Notanki class I do and say, oh, yeah, I really understand that the house will be neglected. But here's my next visit. And the next okay. one comes with a better race than that. Mm. The last one was to Bhubaneswar. The next one will be to Stanford. And when I put my own CV together, sometimes I feel that if the family members and those who are doing protsahan to me, if they ever saw it, they would regret the fact that they ever signed a permission letter for me to go to the Mandi House City Square. So quietly, but keep doing it. And don't accept the 50 lakh wedding. Reject it, saying this lehenga is going to cost you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, yeah, so the key Forget is, it. You know, Okay. Girls today need to have more more role models, you right. know. So how many okay, role so, models you know, do The we big have? question here that I'm going to ask you after we come back from this break is that who are we fighting and what are we fighting for? Okay. That's what I'm going to be asking. But after this quick break here. बहुत बहुत बधाई हो. आपने अपने बच्चों को पोलियो से बचा लिया. लेकिन जब तक दुनिया में पोलियो का एक भी केस है, पोलियो का खतरा बना हुआ है. इसीलिए अब सरकार देश में पोलियो इंजेक्शन की शुरुआत कर रही है ताकि आपके बच्चे को मिले डबल सुरक्षा अब अपने एक साल से छोटे बच्चे को टीकाकरण सत्र में पोलियो की तीसरी खुराक के साथ जरूर दिलवाएं पोलियो का इंजेक्शन क्यों राधा इससे क्या होगा पता है ना हाँ दीदी पोलियो से डबल सुरक्षा हमेशा के लिए याद रहे पोलियो की तीसरी खुराक के साथ जरूर दिलवाए पोलियो का इंजेक्शन अधिक जानकारी के लिए अपने पास के स्वास्थ्य केंद्र ए या आशा देवी से संपर्क करें किशोर अवस्था हम सब की जिंदगी का बहुत ही अहम पड़ा होता है जिसमें हम सब बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण शारीरिक और मानसिक बदलावों से गुजरते हैं इस उम्र में खून की कमी यानी अनिमिया काफी आम है जिसके कारण कमजोरी चिड़चिड़ापन और थकान जैसी शिकायतें आती हैं। सप्ताह में एक बार आईएफए की नीली गोली लेना किशोर अवस्था में विकास के लिए सहायक होता है ये नीली गोली शासकीय शालाओं आंगनबाड़ी केंद्रों और शासकीय स्वास्थ्य संस्थाओं में निशुल्क मिलती है मैं आशा करती हूँ कि आप सब किशोर और किशोरिया साप्ताहिक आई की इस नीली गोली का सेवन जरूर करेंगे अस्पताल में गंदगी हो सकती है कुछ छूना मत और बीमार पड़ जाओगी अरे दीदी अब सब बदल रहा है इतनी साफ सफाई जी हम सब ने मेहनत की है ताकि आपके इलाज में कोई कमी ना आए बदल रहा है बदल रहे हैं स्वास्थ्य केंद्र अब स्वच्छ हो रहे हैं और ये आपके ब्लॉक में भी संभव है बस पहल करनी पड़ेगी हमको और आपको भी स्वच्छता का संकल्प करे स्वास्थ्य केंद्र का कायाकल्प आप सब ने दुनिया भर में क्या मिसाल बनाई है जिस सफाई से आपने कचरा वहीं फेंक दिया और मन्नु आंटी क्या कूड़ा फेंकती हैं? ओलंपिक्स के गोला फेंकने वाले भी शर्मा जाएं। और ये देखिए लक्ष्मी भाभी की सफाई तो गांव गांव में प्रसिद्ध है हमारे सुखिया भैया मन की करते जहां सोचा वहीं शौच कर दिया ये देश जो आप ही का घर है उसे क्यों गंदा करते हैं थोड़ी शर्म कर लो सोच स्वच्छ कर लो अगर एक बार सवा सौ करोड़ देशवासी तय कर ले कि मैं गंदगी नहीं करूंगा तो दुनिया की कोई ताकत नहीं है जो हिंदुस्तान को गंदा कर सकती है स्वच्छ भारत एक कदम स्वच्छता की ओर अस्पताल में गंदगी हो सकती है कुछ छूना मत और बीमार पड़ जाओगी अरे दीदी अब सब बदल रहा है इतनी साफ सफाई जी हम सब ने मेहनत की है ताकि आपके इलाज में कोई कमी ना आए बदल रहा है बदल रहे हैं स्वास्थ्य केंद्र अब स्वच्छ हो रहे हैं और ये आपके ब्लॉक में भी संभव है बस पहल करनी पड़ेगी हमको और आपको भी स्वच्छता का संकल्प करें स्वास्थ्य केंद्र का कायाकल्प
H1N1 फ्लू को फैलने से रोका जा सकता है खांसी और छींक के बाद और बच्चे को छूने से पहले अपने हाथों को साबुन से धोकर H1N1 फ्लू को फैलने से रोक सकते हैं इन्फेक्शन रोको बनो हीरो इलाज सिर्फ चुने हुए अस्पतालों में उपलब्ध उंगली थाम के जिसने चलना सिखाया कड़ी मेहनत करके हमको पढ़ाया हमारी खुशियों को अपनी खुशी बनाया जिंदगी के हर सुख दुख में जो एक साया बनकर साथ रहे ढलती उम्र में इन्हें अकेला न छोड़े ध्यान रखें माता पिता एवं वरिष्ठ नागरिक भरण पोषण एवं कल्याण अधिनियम 2007 के तहत माता पिता की देखभाल करना हमारा कर्तव्य है और उनको बेसहारा छोड़ना एक दंडनीय अपराध है सामाजिक न्याय और अधिकारिता मंत्रालय भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी मैं अमिताभ बच्चन आज आपके सामने वो कहने जा रहा हूं जो मैंने पहले कभी नहीं कहा मैं एक रोगी हेपेटाइटिस बी करोगी उन्नीस सौ में कुली फिल्म की शूटिंग के दौरान मेरे साथ एक दुर्घटना हुई ऑपरेशन करवाना पड़ा और मेरे शरीर में 60 बोतल खून चढ़ाया गया खून का कोई एक सैंपल हेपेटाइटिस बी इंफेक्टेड था जो मेरे लिवर तक पहुंच गया कई सालों बाद आम जांच के दौरान जब इसका पता चला तो मुझे यह भी पता चला कि मेरा एक चौथाई लिवर ही बचा हुआ लेकिन सही इलाज के बाद आज मैं आपके सामने खड़ा हूं और काम कर रहा हूं हेपेटाइटिस बी से बचने का पहला उपाय है शिशु के जन्म पर पहला टीका लगवाएं और पहले साल में तीन और नियमित टीके लगवाएं ये आपका पहला कदम होना चाहिए मुफ्त टीकाकरण के लिए अपने पास के स्वास्थ्य केंद्र जाए और पूरी जानकारी ले देखिए ये जो हेपेटाइटिस बी है इससे हम डरेंगे नहीं लड़ेंगे Welcome back to this special program. Now, before we went into that break, Surbi actually picked up a point and said we need more role models for women to get more empowered. But Surbi, when we're talking about role models, do those role models models have to be women? And again, if we're saying that, are we stereotyping men? Why cannot a role model be a man himself? No, absolutely. We have enough role models as a man, you know. But I think to set priorities for girls and women, we need to have real. life role models for them to be around not on tv studios not on the screens we don't need priyanka chopra as role models but we need real women whom they can see mm. they can relate to in and around their vicinity you know that's going to help them you know set their own priorities priorities like what's important for them what can be what is right what is not wrong maybe we all are fortunate enough to be from urban class we all are fortunate enough to get educated stay in delhi travel around the world but we are talking about when we talk about the word empowerment we are just not talking about women in metros mm. you know we talking about likes of bihar in ups in rajasthan down south you know we talking about all of it for these women you know it's more about real people around them you know is it their mother is it their sisters is it their relatives somebody in the colony what they are doing how they are doing is it important for me to buy something up Mm. Uh, you know glossy mac lipstick versus it is important for me to stand up that i want to do this course and i want to go out so it's own priorities we need to set okay so know. setting our own priorities that's what you're saying and the big question that i really asked before we went into that break as well was about who are we really fighting and what are we fighting for uh, dr manisha you know it's very nice uh, that surbi includes me as someone who lives in delhi uh, but just as an aside i my formal schooling started only in class 3 Mm. I used to live in rural parts of Bihar. I wasn't even the in the state capital, and uh, it's in grade ten after grade ten that I uh, came to Delhi for education. The only reason why I was allowed to come here uh, was because you know there was a real choice between going to Pune and coming to Delhi, mm. and my father said, "Oh, this is at least an overnight train journey, and I'll be able to see you here." So I I I'm I'm very happy to see uh, Surbi here and her generation say that it's coming to us. It's not coming to well, it has come. that process has been a process of contest mm. and while uh, there may be people like us uh, for example i did my uh, doctorate much after i was married mm -hmm. but it was the dogged determination with which i just kept on to the path so really what has happened in that entire thing is that my daughter today and she is correct in saying that the role models need to be real life mm -hmm. role models my daughter today has very little option on the fact she can go and buy that lipstick but she knows that if she doesn't get even what her mother mother mm -hmm. according to her that's a little less 
it's going to be tough for her. So for her, it's quite clear that she will do the girly things. She looks much younger. She looks exactly like the lovely ladies to my right and left. But there's, it is quite clear that as far as the critical nine to five spending is concerned, she is out in the workplace like men. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think is important for women, that nine to five is not to be spent in the global marketplace. And I do think the likes of Pandita Ramabai or Savitri Devi Pule, Savitri Devi Pule, for example, there's a hostel in her name for girls who want to go and study there. Mm. So I think they opened up that panorama for us, the newspapers, the public sphere. So I would think a simple thing in Delhi like newspaper reading clubs by women or book clubs by women would be the transformative act. Mm -hmm. But look at the fact that our you know, consumer markets by the afternoon, you won't find a parking slot because all we want to do is that. So the route for the women is through Renaissance, Reformation, the book world, the museum world in and around Mandi. Let the women flock the city square with protests, with reading, with Renaissance, with Reformation. I think it's women's step first. Aditi, when we're talking about reading and the question that I really asked that who are we fighting and what are we fighting for, uh, would you like to answer that? I think we, it's very difficult to um, identify the unanimous enemy mm. because the lived reality of women in India is very different from uh, it's it's very different from area mm. to to the economic class and caste and so forth. Uh, for example, I, I think uh, we have to break the stereotypes here. I went to Azamgarh and I uh, met. Uh, a few Dalit women there who were uh, taken care of by NGOs. There's a village that mm -hmm. has been adopted. And uh, these girls sing the Lal Gaan, mm -hmm. which, is, which means, uh, I'll just share mm -hmm. a few words mm -hmm. with you mm -hmm. if, if you allow me. I will leave Babul to school and will show So this is Azamgarh yeah. and this is a very uh, uh, very downtrodden area, a very poor area and the girls are singing these songs there. So um, and on the other hand when you come to Delhi or Mumbai you have uh, girls who from the age of 19, 20 are aware about the cosmetic brands, yeah. if, if they don't have a career plan, they are kitty party <laughs> uh, cosmetic uh, uh, yeah. trophy daughters and then trophy wives. So I think uh, what is but happening? That's about a mindset, right? And the kind of opportunities that you've been given, if you're not using them, then... Right. So they are not able to judge, perhaps, that uh, uh, so much has been done for them mm. by the institutions. Mm. So much yeah. has been done for them Absolutely. by their family. Yeah. And they have to utilize it to become mm. a member of a society, an active member of a society who contributes and have a say. Mm. And that is, I think, uh, my, uh, my colleague here was very, very mm. correct when she said that it all boils down to how you prioritize mm -hmm. and we need to have more important active real role model you know okay. yeah. Yeah. I wanted to add on to think I think one thing which we are fighting is our own emotional mm -hmm. uh, you know we need to have this emotional resilience with us you know mm -hmm. I think everything is right with uh, all of us but when it comes to the emotional angle to it we all tend to give up you know I think we all need to know how to hold on to it you know not easily give up you but know? there's no one stronger than a woman and do we need that one day to remind ourselves of this fact absolutely not absolutely this is farcical why do you have one day of being you know international woman do it in a way you know we are accepting we are minorities we need to be empowered <laughs> but maybe it is know? about celebrating women right uh, you need yes, to tell me, is there, a, ma is is there a man, a man day or something like that? You know, no, is no, there something? Let me argue it out slightly with Surabhi on two points. Mm. Uh, when she said television, and I was extremely busy today. Mm. Just finished a big international conference mm. at public universities, lots of Brazil, Africa, etc. Mm -hmm. And today I was sitting through one of the lectures when your call has come for this. Mm. And mm. I'm leaving, as I said, for two more public lectures in universities in the US. And these are my last few hours. Mm. But when it was said that it is an International Women's Day program, mm. I said I have to go. It's a Doordarshan program. Mm. Both could be reasons why I should have said no. And both were reasons why I said yes and came here. Because this public sector sponsored television program on Women's Day, why should I be seen only on the private sector mm. channels mm. and doing only politics and elections? Why should I not be seen as doing women? Mm. Why should I not be? I'm not an activist as I told mm. you. But why should the academic not be sharing today the top secrets mm -hmm. of brand management 
the brand woman management it's out there i'm right. telling you and these are fun things <laughs> you get to do a lot of really fun things by spending your 9 to 5 exactly the way men do it and i'm telling you at the end of it beating the men hollow is a simple and easy game to turn back and do it with a womanly smile leaves you with a satisfaction that is absolutely eternal okay well this has been a very satisfying uh, discussion as well but i want to thank yeah. you lovely ladies for joining us here on this special program that's all the time we have for on this show well we hope you enjoyed this discussion as well and like uh, everybody here agrees it really needs to be a women led development and that's what we should all be aiming for and thanks for joining us on this special show today namaskar